gradient given two points. So if we're given two points, we can find the gradient of the line that joins those two points. So let's find the gradient between minus 4, 8 and 3, minus 1. Let's plot it out. You don't have to plot it out, but we're doing it just to see what's going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Minus 4. 1, 2, 3. And got minus 1. So our two points, minus 4, 8. Went the other way. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8's up there. Minus 4, 8 is up there. And 3 minus 1 is over here. So what we want to do is we want to find the gradient of this line that joins those two points. Straight away, just by looking at that, we know we should get a negative answer because that line is sloping that way. So let's see what happens. So to find the gradient, we can use the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's go ahead and label our points. So we might go, this one is the second one, so x2, y2. This one is our first one, so x1, y1. Let's go ahead and sub those in. So y2 is 8 minus y1, which is minus 1. So again, we have to be careful here when subbing in because the minus belongs to the formula and this minus belongs to the y1 over x2, which is minus 4, minus x1, which is 3. So 8 minus minus 1 will be 8 plus 1, which is 9, and minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7, and that's our gradient. We just tidy this up by putting the minus outside the fraction. So we get minus 9 over 7 for the gradient, and we get the negative value as expected because the line is sloping that way. So this formula actually is just looking at the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. Let's have a closer look. So it's the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates. Remember, this is your rise and this is your run. So all we're doing here is actually just finding rise over run like we normally would.